What's going on YouTube? It's Eric6554 here. I've uh, been gone a while. I know. I'm going to see if I can get back into the swing of making videos again. Work's going to be picking up quite a bit soon, so I'm going to be real busy. But, I have bought some new firearms over the past couple months. Traded some and joined the new firing range, so I might be able to get some good shooting videos in too. But, uh, obviously y'all can tell what the hell this is this is a Ruger LCP a very good handgun for the money this is actually uh, my everyday carry firearm that's what I carry pretty much everywhere I go um, this is what the weapon comes with this is you know standard cardboard box Ruger LCP nice slogan here arms makers for responsible citizens gun of course comes with Man, now of course that sticker was on the magazine. That's an idiot sticker. There's no magazine disconnect safety. Either. Bullshit. Look, still in the same packaging. Basically the Clintons telling you how to raise your fucking kids if you got them. Fuck those things. Of course it is a nice lock. Well, the embossing is nice on it. But anyway. Here we go though. This and Sturmberger made in the U.S. fucking A. Love seeing that. We do have manufacturing jobs still in this country, but who knows for how long with this bullshit administration. Okay, first off, this is soft padded case. Storage, if you want to store it in it, comes with it, standard zipper. And the pistol. Still using an iPod. And we'll just set that aside. Yeah, I don't want to see the box. Let's go to the gun. It's very light. Very thin. Go ahead and safety check it. Nothing in the magazine. Nothing in the chamber. Does sort of have a loaded chamber indicator, but not really. You can see the brass right there, which truthfully is all you want in a loaded chamber indicator. Like the XDs. No. Some of the People's Republic of California laws for the LCIs are bullshit because what does a loaded chamber, what do we know about guns? They're always loaded, usually, the way you treat them. But, primal thing of what does a loaded chamber indicator really do is it interrupts a cartridge from going in the feed ramp. Anyway, the gun is chambered in 380 auto. Very light, very thin. I have no problems wearing this in a pair of like athletic shorts because I'm pretty much wearing them in year round with where I work in that, so it's fine with me. Uh, gun is double action only. Has a bobbed hammer, as you can tell. It's not striker fired. Does have a hold open device, but the weapon will not lock and open when the weapon is empty. It's more, it's more there for helping with disassembly and. Just showing the weapon off. It's got a very thin barrel, but then again, not going to be much of a range gun. It's very reliable. I put over 400 rounds through it before I started carrying it. And I was using some range pickup ammo, the last of it that I had. Some factory ammo. And it fed well. Everything well. comes with one six round magazine I did purchase an extra one this is a pro mag it's not as good as a Ruger factory mag I probably need to buy one another one but for the money this mag worked out is actually just as reliable as the factory one but the um, 
base plate is different. I can tell, you can notice with you use a ProMag, the way it feels on your fin pink on your ring finger is different than the factory mag because it well, just compare. I do not like the it also comes with base a uh, flat base plate. Go ahead and install that. I'll show you how it looks in the gun. Disassembling the magazine is pretty much the same way you do. You use a punch or a screwdriver. Push down like so. And pull forward. Come slips right off. Slips right on. For even more ultra concealment. I've shot it both ways. I prefer the little pinky, the extension. It really doesn't, you really can't get an extra finger on it with the extension. But what I like is I know I can feel the end of it on my hand. So now I've got a decent grip. Pretty good checkering. Recoil for a 380 is not bad. And a lot of these guns that are real light, recoil tends to be real snappy. Um, this one's not too bad. Um, I can keep pretty much up to seven yards, no problem. This is a defensive handgun anyway. For, let's use your sights. Marginal at best. This is more of a point and shoot, but no snags. So, I love this gun. It's my everyday carry. <sighs> Disassemble is fairly easy. You really need, you do need a tool. Wow. To get the base pin out, you need a screwdriver. Although it was designed too to use a split piece of brass, you just push the slide back a little bit. Take said piece of brass or screwdriver and just lift up the base pin. Remove base pin. Gun slides right off. Slide slides right off the rails. Recoil spring is a two-piece, so that would definitely help with your recoil. So, Reassembly is the same, just in reverse, stick your recoil spring into there, under the slide. Take the frame, slide the frame on, push back a little bit. Then insert the base pin. There we go. Go over my ammo choices. I don't want to make this a long video. There's a lot of reviews of the LCP out there. A lot of good ones. Gun's been out for a while. It's definitely one of the most popular carry guns. I do not carry this in a pocket though. I'll go over holsters in a minute. This is the ammo I carry. This is Winchester bonded PDX1s, 95 grain, jacket hollow points, bonded. You're looking at a muzzle velocity of 1,000 feet per second with 211 foot pounds at the muzzle, 25 yards, 960, and 194. So it's, it's definitely not a 45, but. I'll carry this. Uh, you, you, this is a gun you carry. And it's better than a sharp stick or throwing a brick. And for those of you that think, oh, I have the 380, get shot by one. They'll kill you. And they hurt. Holsters. I started off with a basic plastic clip. Uncle Mike's Model 10, number 10. Because I wanted a inside the waistband. I'll still use this to a degree. But not that often anymore. I haven't used it in a while. It comes up pretty high. It has a little bit of 
fabric over, but it will come off your pants. It's also a plastic clip, so it will break. But uh, this was the first inside the waistband holster I could find for it. This is what I replaced it with. This is a uh, Tangia, I think is how it's called. It's a leather cowhide inside the pant with a metal clip. This is what I carry it in pretty much all the time now. And I love this holster. It stays on. It's just a great little hand. If you're looking for a carry gun that you can carry all year, this is a great handgun for every day, all year round carry. 380 though, in the winter months with heavy clothing, it's definitely going to show it's a little bit of deficiencies. And I wouldn't go with any bullet for self-defense that's either not a poly doesn't have a polymer tip like the Hornady's or that isn't bonded. Because when I took my CCW class, the instructor was a former police officer and stated that why one of the reasons why you see a lot of the gangbanger homies wearing flannel is what flannel will do when a bullet hits it it'll cover the hole and the bullet won't expand so that's one of the reasons for those uh, polymer tips and then a bonded bullet should act about the same but this is a I like the Winchester uh, PDX ones may try some other defense rounds out in the future. I do like the idea, though, of being able to get my defense ammo at uh, Walmart. That's prevalent to get. Hornady Critical Defenses I might go to. But for now, all my defensive ammo is uh, PDX-1s. I got quite a few more videos I think I want to do. But. <laughs> yeah. It's been a while, so. Mostly mumbling, so I'll go ahead and Eric6554 here. Signing out.